Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, yes, today we are going to play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, finally. I apologize for the delay. Uh, I recently finished my internship uh, on 21st April and finally got back to Malaysia around 1st May and had some things to do, rest up, and then pick up my pre-orders from my colleague uh, on the second week of May on Monday and now I'm back in my uh, <laughs> in in my house uh, getting ready to play the game I just tested the game to make sure it works so I have reset it I've removed my save file so from the Wii U version uh, I have actually played uh, Breath of the Wild uh, on my Switch, as I I also bought the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> so yeah, in honor of the Wii U's, uh, because this game was actually meant for the Wii U, we are going to play the main storyline uh, 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 on the Wii U, basically. So yeah, and apologize for not doing a live stream um, be <laughs> because. Uh, Again, from what I heard, this game is slightly tricky to get used to, especially if you've played previous Zelda titles. Um, yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, let's get started. Let's start Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. Playthrough. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. mysterious place but I'm sure many of you have seen this during the E3 demo and also I should t uh, make a quick note that this episode is not going to cover much I'm only going to cover the first shrine in the game the tutorial shrine and then we're gonna just going to end the episode there because this game does require a little bit of thinking to play. So, yep, let's go ahead and put our Sheikah Slate. Or, get our Sheikah Slate, basically. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Basically, it's... It's our... 
it'll just help us out in every single way possible. She late. So press plus uh, to view your inventory. So on the left side here is your adventure logs. Um, then after there's your inventory, you can have sword, bow and arrows, armor, and then shields, and then the food, and then the, f the cooked food that you make. And here's your save menu for your DLCs and whatnot. Have you? Okay, let's move on. Let's try to keep the episode short since this is the first ep first episode. So now the door uh, is now opened. So let's uh, get moving. Oh, what's that? Pick up. Well, is there anything like rupees hiding in here? Probably not. <laughs> Oops. So yeah. So if you kick it at an angle. So let's equip that. Let's hurry up. So once again, uh, this up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. As out. Hold on. upon high rule once again now go as um as i was about to say uh, this game uh the way the zelda game is portrayed here um, is basically technology it's because normally zelda games are mostly uh, uh surrounded um or based off magic, but this is mostly on technology. As you can see, the the world is pretty vast, and according to a website, a 100% complete game will take 160 hours. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. And of course, you, you you survive in this game, your health, and your strength, your stamina, all depends on the food that you cook, the ingredients you collect, which is vegetables, uh, animal meat, or, or enemies that you kill in the game. They will often drop part of themselves for you to cook up. Some would I some would kill you. Some would actually make would prove helpful. So let's Okay. 
whatever. <laughs> so let's hurry up and get going. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the important parts that you can do, that most people will do when they first start the game. Now, it may vary from from you g from the way you play, so... Okay, let's talk to this old guy. Oh ho! Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old hag who lives here for a long time. What brings you here? Where are we? Answering a question with a question? That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost, is former self. I, I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I can help out. Or help you out. So we'll steal this guy's apple. I beg your pardon, I do believe that's my apple. You can't just go taking whatever you please. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. So a torch. Well then, just help yourself to that torch over there. And how may I ask are you planning to use it? To set things on fire. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That would be a good weapon. <laughs> However, don't swing without a purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. So, like, pretty much any Zelda game. So, there's this axe. Oh, whatever, screw that. So, whoops, sorry. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. So, yeah. Your adventure log will consist of a main quest. Uh, that the one next to it is, uh, I believe, side quest. So, so now you don't because this game is huge. Uh, the game will list uh, the destination that you need to go. Actually, not list. It you it can mark the destination, as well as keep track of all the quests and side quests that you have to do. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so um, that was unexpected <laughs> because I was not, I wasn't supposed to go there actually. I did not intend on going there. But first, you want to do is Terranimo! So, you will encounter a Korok, which is another returning Zelda. Uh, 
uh, another returning character from um, the Wind Waker. So if you played the Wind Waker, you would know this character. If you haven't, go check out my playthrough, as I will be updating it as well for this week. Okay, and regarding swimming, uh, you see your stamina meter there. If it runs out, you can drown. Or if you're on land, you will uh, run out of energy. You will be tired and be vulnerable to attacks. You can't run away from enemies. And if you're climbing up cliffs like this, you will fall down. And if you fall too far, you will die. So that's just a quick disclaimer. So yeah, when you enter a new area to explore, like a new area like this, not new area like new place, you'll hear music, like a piano, a light piano playing in the background. And uh, a little bit of explanation, uh, top left is your heart, the, the one below it is your, uh, uh, basically that's the D-pad, right controls sword, and left is your shield, top is your runes, and down is the whistle to call your horse. Uh, that will happen later in the game of course. care of that and items that you have not picked up before it will uh, display the sinking cap <laughs> I don't know why I did that and you probably have seen it in the demo as well so who get who who cares so choo choo deli is another returning item from uh, previous zelda titles uh... not i sh really don't have to explain because you many of you guys probably know Okay, uh, let's get going. Okay, um, and then the bottom right, the one, um, the big circle is the map, and if you have the regional data, you'll actually see more information on the screen. The, that thing that looks like a temp with the Fahrenheit is your temperature gate. If you're too cold, Link will lose heart. Same if it's too hot. And if, he, if it prolongs, he will die, basically. Sorry about that. Hylian trousers. Okay. 
Fair enough. <laughs> and and the thing that looks like um that has the sound wave looking uh kind of movement is um is the noise that you make as you're walking. So let's say I'm uh, doing a normal walk is a lot of noise so enemies like or maybe even hor and ho not maybe um, horses like insects that you want to catch they can if that thing is too high the animals will know will that means that you're making too much noise and then the animals will hear you and run away or insects will hear you and run away because you do need to rely on them for your food to make your potions and whatnot for your survival in this game so far I have not figured out the combination the the best way to do it so let's do Sorry, <laughs> I killed you. So yeah, from animal meat, uh, you can cook it and you'll get something like that. Now, whatever you do, do not go there yet because uh, they have a blue blood goblin which is slightly stronger and it's a weapon that can knock all three of your hearts out. So don't go there yet. Uh, believe me, I, I managed to defeat it with only three hearts, but it took several goes, and yeah, several goes of dying. Okay, now I'll show you a little bit on the stealth part. So let's say if you're slowly, they will not notice you. So, yep, uh, you got a bow and arrow now. I believe the other guy also dropped his bow and arrow. I know, sometimes it's hard to see on, because... But then the game does highlight to you the arrows or where and where it is. So now we need a new weapon because your weapons do break over time, which is very annoying. But hey, what you're gonna do? Things do break over time, so you just have to live with it. Could have sworn I saw I saw something shiny over there. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's just go head on. This enemy is pretty easy. Okay, now uh, this is where we are supposed to go. Uh, we'll come back here in a minute because uh, we want to take out something. You know, take out enemies, of course. In other words, so we're gonna use our stealth, somewhat stealthy approach, and we're gonna take out this enemy. I'll show you. Three, two, one. Okay. I think we killed it. Now you can be a complete sniper here. Yeah. 
Okay, never mind. So, once your weapon breaks, make sure you switch. Really quick. And now we have a shield. Again, um, you'll find many of these uh, areas throughout Hyrule's, these little camps where Bokoblins are. You defeat them, this chest will unlock and normally you'll get something useful, but... But most of the time it's not useful. sword is useful but again the swords in this game break after a while so yeah it's a bit annoying but yeah because it's, it's not something that you're used to in So in this episode, I'll only be covering uh, one shrine. So, let's activate this. Hopefully you can hear my voice because I had to re-record this because of the audio not uh, the audio problem with the mic. Holy cow! So now we're on top of the Great Plateau Tower. So uh, basically what you did just now is unlock the tower for every area. So if you get on top of these towers, this is the highest point in the game basically. Well, somewhat. And you will get the regional map for the area. Like so. And yeah. This also acts as a warp point later on, so uh, I will explain this a little bit later in the game, um, like um, after the first shrine, because that's where you'll be introduced to this teleportation part. hundred years. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end.
Holy cow. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. And I'll be like, well, excuse me. I just woke up. How am I supposed to know what am I what am I supposed to do? So we just completed that somewhat mission. So now we need to get down. Now if you jump from a uh, too high a very high platform, uh you will die immediately. You will lose all your hearts and then you will die. So make your way down carefully. Because um, when I was playing Zelda yesterday on the Switch at my friend's house, I basically experienced a lot of ways to die in the game. So yeah, the plan is to have um, the main storyline of the game played on the Wii U, whereas the DLC parts um, like the hard mode and whatnot will be played on the switch so the when when I'm finished with the Wii U uh, the main storyline the save file might be might differ slightly as I'm playing on a different console so now we meet up with this old guy again Now, for those who have already watched the playthrough, you will probably know who this guy is. Mm, yeah, I heard a voice. Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, guy. Calamity again, and 100 years ago, the rotten beast brought ruins to the kingdom of Hyrule. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in his past. So many innocent lives were lost in his wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but barely. There, if Hester's building is strength, for the moment he will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plot plateau we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down if you try to jump off well you'll die hmm. of course if you had a paraglider like mine it would be a different story paraglider oh piqued your interest have I yes I did not come soaring down here on my feathery wings you know hmm. oh ha 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 I'll happy to give you my paraglider, but you'll have to do something mm. for me. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure nearby? Open adventure log. Come, let me show you something. Do you see that structure over there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for prayer glider. A fair exchange, I say. So yeah. We have to help out this jerk.
Okay, um, if you look at the bottom uh, below our some our stealth gauge, I guess you would call it, you'll see a time and what looks to be like uh, weather conditions. So yeah, weather plays an important role in this game. So you can see the weather ahead of time so that, let's say after this is lightning, you don't get struck by lightning. So yeah. That we will show. I will show this later in the in my playthrough. So now we are at the shrine. This is more like a tutorial, and whoops, sorry. And you will get your first runes or rune, which is like um, power coming out of your chica slate to help you in. Um, in the game basically okay let's go in okay Hmm. Oman. Ooh. Oh, ow. I don't know. The Magnesis Trial. Now, there are a lot of shrines throughout the game. Some of these shrines will give you a new ability for your Sheikah Slate uh, in terms of rune. But after that, it would just mostly be using your runes to solve puzzles to get the spirit orb which in each area you need four and then you can get an upgrade by praying to the god the goddess statues which I will show in a little uh, later in the uh, placer so yeah Magnesis what you want to do is so yeah, press L to activate the current ruin. Now, if you want to choose a different one, press and hold the up key. Okay, let's do it. Now, once you activate, uh, press L and then hit A with the uh, pointer pointed at a highlighted object like this. These are objects that you can move or interact with using using the um, Magnesis item. So yeah. Now this uh, shrine is pretty short. So so now follow the the keys displayed. Okay, now we have an enemy here. This is like a mini guardian. So what you want to do is strafe, shoot in the center of his eye, and that should take it out. Now uh, you saw those larger guardians. Um, in this game, they will attack you, and using arrows alone will not put a dent in it. So my advice, if you do encounter them. Do not attack them yet because I believe there is a weapon, a better weapon that you can use to kill them to um, in either in one hit or inflict a lot of damage. So that's that. Now get you, you can just sorry, but I'm a bit spaced out because. Um, I'm currently recording at 2 a.m. in the morning, so it's quite tiring for me. After this, I'm gonna rest a bit before continuing with uh, Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, do that. And then. Sometimes you do need to get a little bit closer so you can pull the object towards you. And do not put. The crash the object onto yourself because you will lose hearts so 
So yep, that's it for the shrine. We are done. Sorry. <laughs> you have proven to possess the blah 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 blah. I'm the creator of this trial. This looks like, um, I don't know, this, I know it's a monk, but yeah. <laughs> you can only get one spirit orb per shrine, so don't bother trying to abuse the system. And then once you get four from each area, go to the goddess statue and pray to it and then you can have a choice to upgrade your stamina or your give you an extra heart container so it's up it's up to you really which one you want to uh, choose okay we finished the shrine Who the hell is that? Or is this old man again? <coughs> oh ho ho ho! You've managed to get your hands on the spirit orb. Well done! How the hell do you know? Clairvoyance, or oh ho, or perhaps just something similar. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay, fine. Hmm. It's all connected to the Sheikah slate you carry on your hip. What do you mean? See, he, he's just dodging our questions somewhat. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That wasn't the deal, you idiot. You only said get the treasure from this shrine. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for you. You know, I would punch this guy, really. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking from a high point. <laughs> oh, ho, ho! I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another trip. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. Mm. See this blue icon? You should recognize the cave where you woke up, the shrine you came from, and the tower. So, so yeah, basically uh, you can teleport to these towers once you activated them, and as well as the shrines. With your Sheikah Slate. Okay, I don't really care because I want to smash stuff. I can push him into the water. <laughs> He's hard headed. I don't know why I did that, but okay.
조미 Nothing really useful there, but uh, oh well. Okay, I'm not sure what are the uses of these items, but um, as I continue to practice on my Nintendo Switch, I will let you know. So let's pick up all these good, good, good ingredients and let's teleport before ending our episodes there. I'm not sure if you can get these chests by using Magnesis. They look like ordinary chests. No. This looks like quicksand. Not sure what that's for, so yep. Uh, like the teleportation thing. Okay, my uh, uh, my game pad's almost out of battery, so we'll try to finish this episode quickly. So yeah, once you activated a tower or completed a shrine, you can teleport to it using your Shika slate. Like so. <laughs> now I remember. Okay. Okay. So yeah, press the right analog stick and then use your gyros of your controller to point at a certain place that you want to go. Okay, so there's the shrine that we were at just now. Now the next one that we are going to go in the next episode is, I'll point them out to you, it's the one over here. So yep, you can mark it like that. You can also use your right analog stick to move it. Uh, do not move your left because you will move Link and if you end up moving yourself off the mountain then uh, that's not good actually. <laughs> Don't do a suicide. So this is the third one. The final one is obscured. It's somewhere at the top over there. Uh, I will show it later. I can't really mark it on the map. So yeah. That concludes this episode. Thank you for watching. Join us in the next episode as we will tackle the second and possibly the third shrine of the game. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.